Welcome back again, folks. Let's say you two, uh, you get your guitar out and you're going to jam. You know how fun that always is. You get your guitar out and everything appears normal. You get it out, you start tuning it up, and you use a tuner or a pitchfork, however you tune. Get it all in tune. You start playing some chords and you get those luscious, fat sound out of your guitar. Just beautiful, and you are so pleased and happy to be playing your guitar. And all of a sudden, string buzz. Oh, God, no, anything but that. And say so you got string buzz on one fret, okay? One fret only. Everything else down the neck, up and down the neck, plays fine. You got string buzz on only one fret. Well, I'm going to bring you over here and show you what you got to do to correct it. Uh, you, it obviously, your fret probably has popped up out of the fretboard. Or, uh, you know, that's the first thing you want to check. It's look very close. If it's got binding, especially close. But uh, look very close on both sides of the fretboard, of, of the fret. And just make sure it's seated good. If it even looks like it might not be, you know, you want to take a, a hammer and tap it there again. Don't beat the living bullshit out of it. Tap it gently and see if it goes back down. And if it does, check it with your fret rocker. Uh, if you don't have one of these, Go back and watch my video about making tools, uh, cool tools, maybe, I forget what it's called. Shows you how to make one, or make four actually, into one. Anyway, that's another story. Anyways, tap it a little bit with the hammer, and take your fret rocker and check it. And uh, you can probably hear this over here, it's the 8th fret, 7, 8. Hear that? I'm going to bring you over here where you can see what's going on. And when this happens to you, and if you play guitar long enough and have enough guitars, eventually it's going to happen. Frets pull up sometimes. They get loose for whatever reason, and they pull up out of the fret slot a little bit, one side or the other, sometimes the middle even. So uh, let's uh, bring you over here closer, and let's do it. Let's do it! Thanks to those of you who supported so I can buy better lenses. You can see there that fret is not pulled up. I'm sorry for the shaking. At this uh, magnification, it's, you just can't hold the camera still. But thanks to those who supported and uh, bought the lights and the lenses. Thank you. Uh, I wish I could hold it more still for you. But I think you can see well enough to see that that fret is not pulled up. I'll put image stabilization on this, more of it, but yeah, see the fret has not moved. Under heavy magnification, hold on. Alrighty. Thanks again to those who support the channel so I could buy these lenses and bring you these great pictures when I don't have to hold the camera. Okay, so you're going to need, and for the lights too, you're going to need a fret rocker, okay? If you don't have a fret rocker, go back to a few of my videos and I'll show you how to make one very cheaply. This is the fret, and oddly enough, it's got a, uh, someone marked it with a magic marker on the rosewood up here. I, I saw that a long time ago. I never knew why it was there. Maybe it was because this fret's high. Hopefully the camera gets this. Not as high there. Not as high there. It's higher up on the base side than it is. And when you do this, don't just check in one place. I like to go between every string if it's got strings on it. By the way, I'm going to show you how to do this without taking the strings off, so stay tuned. <laughs> uh, if it has strings on it, I like to always check between every string all the way across the fret and you can hear it's got plenty of rattle in it all the way across the fret it's not as bad on this end down here this is the fret yeah we're in that's the one that's going to get attention so hold on let me loosen the strings up probably gonna to have to go get batteries yeah hold on so you're going to need a couple of blocks, okay? Just uh, something to stick under there and hold the strings up out of your way so you can get in here and work. Uh, 
you might need a couple you might want a couple of pieces of leather to put I have these blocks sitting right on frets so I uh, didn't use the leather and you're going to need a fret rocker as I said before you're going to need a crowning file uh, I generally prefer this one because it's so fast and it cuts in both directions but I think I'm going to use this old style file because it's long and I can reach back in there you know all the way across the fret so let's just set this one out of the way and you're going to need sandpaper I like to use I start with an 800 grit 1000 grit uh, 1200 1500 and then 2000 grit and then the semi chrome polish which I'll probably polish all the frets when I do the, the chrome polish thing so uh, yeah get a uh, you're going to need a crown file any way you go about it here I'll show you one more time see if you can hear this that's the eighth fret see, it's not as bad there and not bad there so I want to concentrate mainly on this uh, side of the fret that's closer to me and all I'm going to do is just take a crown file seven eight and I'm just gently going to start removing fret fret material rather and you don't want to go very much at a time because I want to check it see we still got a ways to go That old file there is, is pretty fast, but it's nothing compared to those diamond grit files. Man, those things, you can cut fret material off in a really quick way with, with us. I don't want to blow that off. What am I thinking? What are you thinking? See, it's already lesser. We've already made some progress. You gotta be careful on that, that end away from me there. Now let's make some more progress. Keep in mind is you know you don't want to overshoot this. I, I don't know if you can see the material that's being taken off or not. I think you can. But you don't want to overshoot this. If you overshoot it, then well you fucked up. Then you got to level more frets. And it's really easy to overshoot. So be very careful if you do this your guitar or anyone's ah oh, yes we're getting lesser and lesser each time folks it doesn't take very long to do this and the fret buzz will be gone fret buzz Use that diamond grit file. We would we'd be finished already. Man, those files are quick. Ah, check that. Not nearly as bad as it was. That fret was. I shouldn't have measured it. It was quite high. Very high compared to the others. I don't know what. And I'm wondering if that's why they someone marked it with a marker there on the fretboard. A little sandpaper and get rid of that mark. I'll bet you it is. Someone spotted a high fret and they marked it. Maybe so they sent it somewhere to get it fixed. And an indicator of what fret was buzzing. I don't know. Bingo.
Now, I need to file more in the center of the fret now, the top of it, than this side. I'm favoring this side, and it's, it's pretty well flat. So, rather than favoring this side, I want to favor more of the center of the fret now. I do believe that we just nailed that puppy just now, right then. Yes, sir. And that quick, that simple, and that fast, you can fix your own fret. Now, if you don't, if you're like me and you don't use tape so much on these, if you use these fretboard protectors. Make sure you got one that fits. See that right there? Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me zoom you in a wee bit. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. Now, see that's that's way too big. Here's one that's probably too small. It is. It should be the keeper. That's it. Uh. Get one that fits if you're going to use this, if you're going to do this, get a, a protector that fits the fret. I like to say this is just 800 grit paper right here. I'm going to take the file marks off of that fret and make it slick like glass. You can't see too well, can you? Well, I can't do it left-handed, so you'll have to excuse me, I guess. This is 800 grit paper right here. And we'll go to uh, 1000 grit next. And 1200, then 1500, and then 2000. And then, a great semi chrome polish. That shit's worth its weight in gold. I'm telling you what. No more rocking. That fret is flat with the two, the one before it and the one after it. Now, I'll do that again so you can hear. I'll shut up. Checking your frets, checking them twice to find out which one's naughty and nice. Uh... Like I said, I didn't put on the half inch semi-chrome polish, this stuff, because all the frets need it, and these strings are shot. I'm going to wait till I put new strings on here. I'll wait, I have all the strings off of it, and I'll do all the frets like that. But I do want to get the camera and bring you over here for a closer look and uh, show you what that fret looks like now compared to the others that I did nothing to hold on. Check that fret out compared to the others. <laughs> man, oh man. The frets are tarnished on this guitar pretty bad. Uh, that's what a fret should look like. when it's. That's what all frets finished should look like. Let me zoom out here and get you a shot of these others if I can here. Yeah, it looks like scratches in it, but it's, just, it's strings and... Uh, the lights and everything, just a bunch of stuff reflecting. But check that out, man. Looks like a brand new fret. So that's how you can fix a high fret on your guitar if uh, you ever get fret buzz like that. And it's, it is a high fret. And usually it is if it's just one fret. fret. fret is the one we worked on okay but it was the seventh fret and you noted anything on the seventh fret that's where it buzzed and that's not the case now but here is the eighth fret this is the one we worked on
Genus. And of course the uh, eighth and ninth fret was okay. They were all okay except the eighth. But like I say, when you noted the seventh fret, that's where it buzzed. And the reason being because the next fret, the eighth one, the one we worked on was higher than the seventh. So the string was uh, bottoming out, so to speak. horribly out of tune. This thing is loud, man. So there you have it. Eighth fret city. Boy, it really sticks out with the rest of it. I don't know if you'll be able to tell it or not there, but this uh this fret right here the one with the magic marker on it see that i'm going to take sandpaper and take, get that off of there i'm sure i'm almost certain that someone marked that fret probably sent the guitar to someone and told them you know how mark the fret that's the one that buzzes on or one i don't know who knows man a magic marker that's what it looks like so i want to thank you guys for watching i hope that helps you uh do your own little fret repair if you ever run into that problem where just one fret buzzing and like I say sometimes it can be the upper portion of the fret as was this case sometimes it can be the, the lower portion and the upper ones will play fine so you got to be really careful with that crown file and take it off where it needs it you know be very careful guys you can really screw your fret up if you know you don't watch what you're doing they're doing that boy that fret really shines Thanks for watching uh, the Blue Ridge. We're going to finish that Blue Ridge guitar, string it up, set it up, and get a demo with it. And then I'd like to do another uh, blind guitar challenge with two different guitars from what we used before. And uh, see if you guys can pick out which ones cost very much and which one not so much, just by hearing. So thanks for watching. I will see you again very soon, I hope. Hey, stop over at my Patreon site. And sign up if you want to win a free guitar. Uh, need more people, man. More people go over there and sign up for that. A buck a month. And uh, when we reach... I haven't changed it yet. Uh, but when we reach the goal that's set, we'll start the contest and get that underway. One of you guys can win a free guitar of whatever you want. Whatever guitar that you want. As long as you know the patron money keeps coming up enough to buy it with. So check that out, and uh, I appreciate all your support here through YouTube, PayPal, Patreon, however you do it. And you that just come here and watch the channel and comment, thank you so much. I appreciate that support much more than I can say. It means a lot, and I'm grateful to you guys for it. Thanks. I'm rambling. See you soon. Hold on.